Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. If you remember my four categories of Photoshop Elements, we have Selections, Corrections, Retouch, and Manipulation. We've dealt with Selections and getting Flawless Selections, Corrections, which you now can apply with those Flawless Selections, and now it's time to deal with Retouching. In this lesson, we're going to do, in Part 1, Go over the retouching tools and how they work, the spot healing brush, the healing brush, the rubber stamp tool, and the pattern stamp. And I'm going to give you a demo with basic retouching techniques and some tips on flawless retouching. So let's get started. All right. Here's an image that I shot at a dealership of a car. You can see that you see the Mercedes sign, you see a car in front, you see stuff underneath it, you see part of the building behind the image and a car down here. So we have some things that we need to retouch. A lot of body retouch. Um, we need to retouch windows. We need to take out the um, signs and the power poles. All sorts of stuff. In this demo right here, I'm going to show you how we would do retouching without the retouching tools. We're going to use the gradient tool. And it's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take the Quick Selection tool and we're going to make a selection of just the sky, moving around the car here very carefully. Now, in this demo, I may not be perfect because I, we have time constraints. So I don't want to keep you all day. But now we'll see we have some areas to correct. Drop the brush size down, Option or Alt, and follow that car edge to remove the faint edged area that overwash that looks pretty good right there a little smaller option or alt take it right back down to the red edge of the car looking pretty good let's see if we can get it all the way it's coming out the quick selection tool is working very well here that looks pretty good option or alt right there on that edge Clean that up. This is looking great. Now let's come down here, Option or Alt again, to get that selection. Automobiles are very difficult. Uh, many times you won't be able to do this because the edge, because of reflections, is so faint. This one worked reasonably well. All right, we're coming back. I see we've got that. That looks okay. Now the rear window area right there, I can't even hardly see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the polygonal lasso tool with a feather of one and we're going to take option because we're taking it away and I'm leaning back to see this and I can see that the edge goes right up there and that will remove that and there we go. All right, we've got the edge of the automobile. Let's go to our Refine Edge dialog box. And what we're going to do is we're going to use just a tiny bit of radius and see if we can get those trees. Got them. Do a feather of maybe a half a pixel. Let's do one pixel of feather. Good enough. Let's take a look at it with our selection brush. That is so convenient to look at it as a mask. And we look. And we see there was a little bit here that I missed. Let's go ahead and paint that in right on down the edge of the fender. This is where these car selections are very precise. So it, even painting this is not necessarily the best way to do it. But for, there we go, option to take it out of that sign. Very painstaking work to do a car edge properly. We'll come around. That's close enough. Oh, let's just take that little bit out of the back. Whoops, the other way around. I need to paint it. This is where the Wacom tablet really helps you. Okay, we've got our selection. Let's go from the mask to the selection. Now, what we're going to do here, this is something a little bit different. I want to get these to come back from the green. Okay. The original is right here.